What's up guys, I'm back. So, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Let me get the light on. Let me show you what this looks like. Today has been uh, an actual, actually a really, really busy day, which I was not expecting at all. Um, so this is going to come up in your life as well. Um, and, you know, that's normal. Kids, family, friends, job, that's part of the shake. As I said before I left you guys, uh, I mixed uh, protein powder with non-fat Greek yogurt. And what I did to sweeten it a little bit, uh, just because I have that little uh, kind of sweet tooth, is... Um, some Splenda, you could use some uh, Stevia as well um, and don't worry you know don't really worry about the, the macros that much uh, so this is what it looks like okay so it's got a nice uh, kind of icy consistency I've had it in the freezer for a little you know a little bit longer than I would recommend um, the top layer as you see is kind of hard um, but once you kind of dig in there this bottom layer is where the kind of like creamy section is and uh, like I said it tastes like a kind of like frozen yogurt well, which it basically is <laughs> um, so that's it for this meal uh, I'm gonna be going to the gym in a little bit probably within an hour or something so I might try to get a whole meal in as well uh, luckily you know I just I haven't had a lot of carbs today so I'll be able to get it get in uh, a decent amount at night talk to you guys at the next meal okay guys it's gonna be my um one of my last meals this is basically uh a meal i'm having right before the gym and this is five servings of normandy uh vegetables so i get mine from uh walmart which uh, five servings is a total of 15 carbs for the whole thing. I'm about to show you how much it is. And then um, six point, I think it was around six ounces of uh, chicken. And then um, I normally don't count this, uh, but I did just for the, the uh, video sake um, because I'm pretty active these days, uh, doing some two days boot camp and really active. So for me, it wouldn't be that make or break, but I did it just for the um, purpose of this video, and I'll uh, I'll, I'll post the uh, macros at the end of the day. But that's five servings of veggies. So it's cauliflower, um, carrots, and broccoli, and then six ounces of chicken. So I already had some chicken grilled, um, and that's, you know, not a big advocate of like meal prep Sundays or Mondays, but but what I what I do do is I will um, I will barbecue like a whole pack, you know, in the, in the beginning of the week. Um, that with something else like maybe a little bit of steak um, or just you know some other type of uh, meat to keep me ready for the week and get, keep me prepared. So I had that. Uh, I had that already ready. I'll show you kind of how much it is. I prepared it Sunday. And uh, I'm having a little bit. So you can season it or not. I season it with soy sauce. I'll make a separate video for you on that. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's gotta be prepared a little bit ahead of time. So even though the day's been busy, crazy um, still had the opportunity to fit some meals in all right I'll uh, see you in the next meal hey guys so I got some gym footage for you uh, just because I happened to record it this day um, what we are going to be doing here is an overhead press uh, so as you'll see if you're not familiar with the overhead press it is a little bit different from a uh, typical military press so the bar is supposed to go in front of uh, your body as you come down 
and it, if it is not, you're basically doing a military press. So a lot of people get this um, exercise confused. Uh, I happened to get a new best on this and got a total of seven reps with uh, 165. Uh, I'm training with my boy Darius, uh, which you'll see him um, come up here. And he hits it. He hits 165 for uh, 10. So I got it for seven. He got it for 10. Um, and then uh, he was he was kind of he was feeling it. Uh, so he wanted to move up, and uh, he moved up to 205, and ended up getting it for a, a solid three reps. Um, we might be seeing a little bit more Darius in the uh, videos to come. We're trying to get him right. So. Um, We'll see, see if he's fine with it, and uh, I'll continue from there. Um, chicken and potatoes. Uh, so it's a leg quarter. At least that's what I put it down as. Uh, so here it is. You guys could let me know in the comments if I'm, if I'm wrong or whatnot. Um, and some potatoes. So with the leg quarter, because there's skin, bones... If it's if you're gonna eat the skin, then obviously account for that. On my fitness pal, if you are not, then don't account for it. Um, they have it, you know. They have the options on their skin list and um, and just plain. But what I'm gonna do is I measured so the way I measure it, um, or the 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 option I choose on my fitness pal, I choose it so. Um, it's just the meat itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat. Obviously, I'm not going to eat the bones. I'm going to, uh, I've already measured it out before. Then I'm going to measure out after. Um, potato is already measured out. What I'm going to do, because this was cooked with some, some olive oil, um, I'm probably going to add like 10, sorry, like 12 to 15 fats uh, on my own. So just to account for um, the fats that are in there and, and seeped in um, so again here is what it looks like if I get some better lighting all right so that's about to go down and then I honestly have man I have this never happens I actually have a lot of carbs to work with I probably got like 60 carbs left and like 20 fat so I could go get some ice cream or something but I'm kind of tired right now, so just uh, see, see what I have in here, and uh, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So I ate the food. Hopefully, what I said to you about the chicken breast and the uh, skin made sense. But if it doesn't, I'm gonna walk you through it right now. So this is the remaining chicken uh, skin and uh, bones. Okay. So I zeroed out the scale. All right, now what I'm gonna do, bear with me because I'm doing this with only two hands. <laughs> so I zeroed out the scale, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss the remaining skin, bones, etc., in the trash. And now I'm going to look at the ounces if you cannot see that, that's 2.3. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is deduct 2.3 from the number I originally put, and that is going to give me my total in ounces. Again, um, I'm sure you can find on my fitness about like chicken leg quarter with bones or whatnot. Um, this is how I've been doing it since I've started counting macros, and it works for me works for clients so that's how I would recommend doing that just uh, you know if you don't want to take that extra step that's fine I like to get every calorie in I can <laughs> um, all right guys that's how you uh, that's how you measure the chicken see you at the next meal okay guys so it's kind of hard to say this but I'm not <laughs> I don't want to say I'm not hungry because I'm always hungry but I'm not not in the mood. It's kind of getting really, really late at night. 
So I just want to like finish my macros and get it over with. Um, I could easily just say, you know, screw it. I'll, you know, I'll fix it tomorrow, which is weird. <laughs> if you know me, <laughs> you know I, I almost never. Um, I'll overestimate my macros, but I'll never really underestimate them as far as when I'm counting them. Anyway, um, took me a while to figure it out, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two of these Mission Tortilla, flour tortillas. So one is three and a half fat, I'll just put it three and a half fat, 24 carbs, four protein, hopefully you can see that. And then two slices of Swiss cheese. And on top of that, I'm going to have one, one rice cake. Now, I want you guys to know, uh, this day was not necessarily planned. So this is uh, basically just kind of what I have around the house. Um, ooh. This is basically what I have around the house, and uh, that's gonna, that's basically gonna conclude my day. And yeah, guys, just you know, just get it done. Um, a lot of people, I think females have more of an issue with this, um, but they tend to struggle like hitting their protein. Um, you know, just just add an extra scoop, <laughs> add an extra scoop of protein powder. I, I don't know. I never understood it to be honest. Um, I usually get it with females, males, uh, not too much. And if if I do, it's it's usually just like a like a minor fix. Um, but yeah, just you know, just just make it happen. You know, things aren't always gonna go as planned. Your day's gonna get busy, but you know, just find a way, make it happen, get shit done, and uh, and see them gains coming. I think I completely failed to mention what I'm doing with those. I um, I just wrapped the cheese in the tortillas, uh, so just little, I don't know, not quesadillas, enchiladas, cheese enchiladas. I think that's that's what I'm looking for. So that's that's basically what I did. Anyways, guys, that's that's gonna be a wrap of this video. I'm gonna eat, finish some other things, and call it a night. See you guys on the next video.